Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today, what to do if the tire pressure warning light has come up on your dashboard. Right, let's get cracking. Now what happens is you'll be driving along and all of a sudden you'll get the tire pressure warning light coming up on your dashboard. Now don't panic, it's probably because one of your tyres is under or over inflated, but you do need to check all four tyres in case you've got a slow puncture. Now it's very important when you check the tyre pressures that you do this when the tyres are cold, not when you've been out for a drive and the tyres are warm. Because when the tyres are warm that increases the tyre pressure. What you need to do is find out what tyres you've got. Now this will be written on your tyre wall, so on this particular tyre we've got a 225-45R19. And then to find out what the pressures are, this will normally be on a label on the door pillar or on the inside of the door here. On some vehicles it may be on the inside of the fuel cap. And there's a link above now about how to check your car battery with a multimeter. And on my particular vehicle, I'm going to have less than four people normally, and I'm not going to be going over 100 miles per hour. So on the front tyre pressure, I need to have 34 psi. And on the rear tyre pressure, this needs to be set at 31 psi. So what we need to do is just go around all four tyres and make sure that those are at the correct pressures. And as I mentioned earlier, make sure you do this when the tyre pressures are cold. I've got an old school manual tyre gauge here and this one is actually over inflated so I can use the end of this just to let some air out. And there's a link above now about how to check car fuses without having to pull them out using a multimeter. Really handy tip. And this is one of the front tyres so this needs to be 34 psi. So I've got that to 34 psi. Now I'm just going to check the other three tyres. And this rear tyre just needs a bit of extra pressure put into it. Now I'm not going to show you me pumping up all four tyres, otherwise this video is going to be a bit too long. So what you need to do is just go around and make sure they're all at the correct pressures. And then that leads us to the next step, which is how you get rid of the tyre pressure warning light on your dashboard. Now this will vary depending on what kind of car or van you've got. Now some of them auto reset, so as soon as you go for a drive, after 5 or 10 minutes the computer will understand that the tyre pressures are okay and it will automatically reset the light. But on some vehicles you actually have a button. Now this can be in various different places, it can be right near where you sit, some of them are inside the glove box like this one here on our Volkswagen and what you do is you basically hold this down for about 3 or 4 seconds and it resets the system. System. And there's a link above now about what to do if your windshield washer jets are not working. And some of them you actually reset from the dashboard system. So find out how your system works. And once you've pumped up all four tyres, you're basically telling the computer that these are the tyre pressures to store. Now if you've got a slow puncture, obviously that TPMS light will come back on, so make sure you get that fixed as soon as possible. And I'll tell you what, that definitely deserves a lovely cup of tea. And safe driving to everyone out there. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.